So while this is running in the background, just to kind of whet your appetite of what's possible, we took a couple of side-by-side -side videos. Uh, for most of us who've programmed a job, we always run it through the quick or run it through a verify real quick in Mastercam to make sure, well, is it doing what I really want it to do? Just a quick eyeball test, right? Make sure we didn't have some big red line sweep through our part where we wiped out uh, part of the actual features themselves. So on the left-hand side of the screen, Simcoe Verify running. Over here in Mastercam, if you look at the little bar down at the bottom, it's, it's still processing. Uh, at the end of this, we're going to get a chance to see what we have verify time in one software versus verify time in the other. Yeah, one other thing to add uh, to that as well, Jason, is, um, you know, at least I know as, as myself as a programmer, I didn't just get Verify dialed in on one time. I would find myself, you know, after maybe every operation or every couple, jumping into Verify and, and, and then also refreshing the graphics as well. So um, I just picture, you know, a uh, 21-minute, um, you know, time to wait every single time I want a verification uh, you know, it, it certainly adds up and, and adds up very quickly too. Hundred percent. Again, on uh, uh, getting started on, on something like this, um, when you go ahead and install the Simco Verify, it's going to go ahead and place a tab up on the top ribbon bar for us here, and um, and then simply with that, we're going to have our verification option or a option to do the setup. So if I were to take a look at the setup side of things. Um, we then can go ahead and tell it what the workpiece is, if we have any fixturing on our, on our actual that we want to take into account, um, but also then our stock um, as well, whether that's our, our Mastercam job setup or we have a natural block or a casting, you know, that we wanted to select as a model um, or even a stock model for that matter, right? There's different options here, of course, that we can uh, utilize and, um, and, and set that up. Once we, uh, once we obviously do that, then I could go ahead and do a start to our verification. And, um, and you can see it's going to open up as a separate window. So uh, very similar to maybe what you're already used to that could get stashed on a second monitor if you wish. Um, but with that being case, uh, we'd be able to either play this through or uh, run it all the way to the end of the, um, of the part itself. So as you're going in here, you know, there will be a lot of your standard um, options as far as stop conditions, you know, if you wanted to stop on a, on a collision or, um, or, you know, a number of other things too, obviously. So um, with that as well, you know, if we were to take that to the very end of the part, um, I could then certainly do uh, different things as far as like a cross section, um, you know, different uh, zoom windows or, you know, tell it basically my overall quality on how we want to, um, you know, look at that part itself. Uh, again, if I did a comparison, um, in this case, it's a um, inch file. So I could say, hey, I want to compare this against, uh, you know, say 5,000 and, um, and start that. And then, of course, that's going to do a uh, stock compare and show me from like an op two side. Obviously, I have all the undercuts and all the actual uh, stock remaining, where, of course, from a um, up one standpoint, you know, I'm not gouging anywhere. Um, everything, you know, is uh, is as expected. 